Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Uh, it's Wednesday, and I hope you're ready for God to do something incredible in your life. Uh, see, we want God to do incredible things in our life because all of us want to be blessed. Uh, I haven't met a person yet who, who offered them blessings and more blessings. They would uh, uh, not take them. And, and yet, at the same time that we want to be blessed, we often ignore the one who tells us how to live blessed lives. Uh, by the way, that's Jesus. In fact, there's an entire passage in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 that's called the Beatitudes, where Jesus explains what it is to live a blessed life. And I encourage you to read that entire passage, verses 3 through 12. I just want to share one with you today. Matthew 5, 9 says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, because if you're a peacemaker, you're going to be identified as a child of God. Uh, see, Jesus was the ultimate peacemaker because he made peace for us with God. When he took our sins on the cross, he paid for our debt, and he reestablished the relationship. He reconciled us to God, is the way the Apostle Paul put it, that God was in Christ reconcile, reconciling us to himself. And, and so Jesus is our peacemaker. He broke down the dividing wall. He brought us close to God. And, and that's why he's the Prince of Peace. Now, we, as his followers, okay, that's if you are a follower of Jesus, then you're going to find a blessing in being a peacemaker like Jesus. Let me say that again. If you want to be blessed the way that God wants to bless you, then you need to take on that identity, that role, that actions of a peacemaker. And let me be real specific about what that means. That means that you need to decide that you want to win the relationship more than you want to win the argument. You have to care more about the other person than about proving that you're right. It, it means that you want to say the right words rather than trying to get in the last word. It, it means that you are the first to offer an apology rather than being the person who's holding out demanding an apology from the other. See, that, that's what it means to be a peacemaker. Uh, in my mind, I've got this picture of what a peacemaker is. Uh, you have to go with me because this is how uh, I think we live our lives. But just imagine that you are carrying around a bucket with you everywhere you go. And in that bucket is either water or gasoline. Okay, you got water or gasoline. You're carrying it. You decide what's in that bucket, by the way. And, and every time you encounter a little relational fire, there's a dispute, there's a disagreement, there's an argument, somebody is angry. You're either going to douse that with your water or you're going to escalate it with your gasoline. You're either going to inflame things, you're going to fuel that fire, or you're going to calm that fire by being a peacemaker. And so today I'd simply ask you, uh, what's in your bucket? Are you carrying around water or are you carrying around gasoline? Are you somebody who, who fuels the fire of division? Or are you somebody who calms the waters and puts out those fires so that people can get along? Um, if, if we want to live in God's blessings, then we're going to learn to be peacemakers. See, the reality is I want people to know that I follow Jesus by the way that I live, which means I have to be a peacemaker. I hope that makes sense, and I hope that helps you get along a little bit better. God bless, and have a great day.